We're going to talk about men deceiving women today, family. So we're going to talk about the top three ways that men can deceive women. It's many ways, but I might break this down to two or three parts. And for these first three topics, the first one is going to be emotional manipulation. It's important to know how to recognize emotional manipulation when you're dealing with guys. I know you all wondering, like, man, what's emotional manipulation? Like, you thinking, what is it? But you got to remember, like, emotional manipulation can be things as simple as gaslighting, guilt tripping, and playing victim. So gaslight is when you basically making someone question their reality of feelings. So if you have been gaslighted, it's basically like when someone is promising you something or telling you something, but they're not consistent with their word. You're going to think you're crazy, but in reality, you're not. They're just basically playing with you and just shrinking you along like a rope. Along with emotional manipulation, guilt tripping, is a part of that. So that's basically when a guy is trying to make you feel guilty for what you're doing. So you could come to him to address something instead of acknowledging it, they usually do the role of guilt tripping you. So again, you gotta take it very lightly what I'm saying and you gotta actually know what I mean when I say guilt trip. When you get into a conversation with a male If they say something to you to point out something, all the time that's not guilt trip. But they're always getting defensive. Always basically ignoring everything you're saying and saying something completely opposite. I would consider that guilt trip. I am not saying if you all were talking about communication and then he brings up you ignoring him. That's just something y'all got to talk about. But if it's a completely irrelevant topic, it has nothing to do with the conversation that was going on, that is guilt tripping. And then the last thing that goes into emotional manipulation is playing the victim. Playing the victim is when you shift that responsibility and make yourself the victim and try to sympathize what's going on when you, the woman, brought it to him. So just try to recognize those three things when you're dealing with emotional manipulation and men trying to deceive you. The second thing is going to be infidelity. So, of course, we all know what that is. That's just straight out cheating. It's straight out cheating. So, we're going to keep this simple and short. When a man cheats on you or you know a guy is entertaining others, why do you go back? Why do you still entertain him? Why do you lower your standards and try to even the playing field? The playing field would never, playing field would never be even. You're gonna lower your standards. Don't ever try to make the playing field even. It's never going to be even. So then you got your three types of cheating. You got your physical cheating, emotional cheating and you got your online cheating to me all cheating can be the same it doesn't necessarily have to be physical I feel like emotional is kind of one of the worst ones because that means there's something more there so that's a deep emotional connection when you're doing emotion and it doesn't always have to involve physicalness so just keep that in mind too when you're thinking about it but You just know, man, cheating is devastating. It makes you think that you've been betrayed by your partner. It makes you feel angry. It makes you feel heartbroken. Man, when you're trying to rebuild that trust, it's hard at first. It's really hard. And I'm not going to tell you whether you should break up with the guy or start talking to the guy because he cheated. You know, you all do what's best for you. You just got to know to move forward. You kind of have to be very open. You got to be open-minded, open with communication. You got to be honest. And sometimes you may have to seek professional help and just go get therapy. 
Those are all things that you should do if someone is cheating. Like, that is essential if you're trying to move forward with a relationship. And then, of course, if you're not trying to move forward, just end it. Another thing, another way, this is the final way you can know that men sometimes deceive women by misrepresenting their intentions. Just think about that. When someone presented intentions to you, they didn't represent it accurately. They basically misled you, led you on. You basically had your standards up here and they faked it. They put on a mask to reel you in, to get you comfortable, but they never really was that person. They just did just enough to reel you in. You got to realize that. You got to realize that. Probably bringing you flowers when you first met. You got to see if something is consistent. Is, are they bringing you flowers on bad terms or on the good terms? Are they opening the door all the time only when they're not mad at you? Are they being the gentleman all the time? Or when they're happy with you? So you got to pay attention to those signs because it can help you realize how consistent a person is as a human being. Once you gather that information and you know how consistent a person is, you can move forward with your analysis of that person. Well, before the end, you got to know. Also, withholding information, it can be a bad representation of intentions by withholding information. So, just make sure you guys not withholding information from you. He's failing to disclose an important aspect of his life. Previous relationships, circumstances that's requiring him to act differently or change on you. And then last, false promises. I never talk to a man that can't keep his word. That's just me personally. That's what I would tell my daughters, my sisters. Never talk to a man that can't keep his promises. If a man can't keep his word, you can't trust his word, what can you trust? If you can't trust a man's word, what can you trust? Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Men deceiving women. Like I said, I got like two more parts. I might break it down, just talk, focus on one topic. But those are things that you should look out for if you feel like the man is deceiving you. So, hope y'all like that, man. I'm out.